once in a while. The alignment on your laser engravers goes a little wacky new new. So you have to realign them. So I'm going to take you through the process of realigning and calibrating the alignment on your We Create Vision laser. Jump in with me. To start the calibration process, you have to be in the We Create Make It software. They do recommend a USB connection, but it does work over Wi-Fi. Now you can go to the home screen, but the settings will not show up here. So you have to actually open a project to access the full settings menu. And here you will say, who typed in creator? They spelled that wrong. Was that me? So I'm going to go to camera calibration, and then it'll tell you what you need to do here. And we can start calibration. You have to make sure that wood is in there and has to be in the right position on the bottom. I guess it's more like the front left corner and you should have a pretty flat piece of wood in there. And you go through the calibration, you do start calibration and it says recommends A3 size. Now A3 is not an American size so you're going to need to probably finagle some stuff if you don't have A3 piece of wood. But WeCreate does sell them in this exact uh, measurement so that's cool can't have anything on it you can put a piece of paper on top of it if you've already cut through it but um, they recommend just using the, the piece of wood and it's going to put some marks on it it should be pretty flat if it's warped it's going to throw your calibration off so try to find the flattest piece of wood you can find and you're going to type in your three millimeters here and then you click on next step and then uh, it tells you exactly where to line it see how it's like if you're facing the front of the machine, it's going to be in that front left corner. And it should be as close in that corner as you can get it. And then you start the calibration. So now I want to engrave this metal business card with the diode laser, the regular wavelength diode laser. So I'm going to use this. I don't really have a jig for this. So I'm put this right up here against the back and line it up against here as straight as I can get it and then pull this out. Now it shouldn't move, but I don't think the air assist is strong enough to do that. I could turn the air assist off because you really don't need it during engraving. So let's go back to the software and see if we can engrave something and see how accurate it is to see if the calibration worked. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. I should see my gold metallic card down there. I think it's made of aluminum and I do see it right here. So what I want to do is put something on here. I guess the best thing to do is probably put text. I guess that's the most common thing you'd find on a business card and maybe a QR code or something. Make sure that it's calibrated and going where it's supposed to go. So we'll call this diode. There we go, that's a little better. Let's move this right here. It looks a little too big, so let's make sure that it fits nicely in here. There is a curve tool, you see that? That's nice. That's fairly new, I love that. Look at that. But we're not gonna use that for that. That's a nice little feature. I think that's fairly new. I'm gonna put it right about in the middle. This doesn't look straight on here, but it doesn't have to. I think as long as we get that text in the center of the card, I can make further adjustments later. So let's see. We're going to tell it what the material is. See what it can do. It's an aluminum sheet. And we'll say coated yellow. Ooh, one millimeter. Yeah, so confirm that. I don't want to cut it. I just want to engrave it. I'll tell it what I want to do here. I want to engrave. Should I fill engrave? Let's fill engrave. He's telling me I only need a power of five, speed of 29, and one pass. So let's see if this is accurate. Oh, got to autofocus. I forgot about that. That's good because the, the focus looks like it was perfectly in the middle of the card, so I think this may work. So let's go ahead and start it. It looks like the alignment is pretty square on. It looks exactly like where it's supposed to be. So I think it worked. 
All right, she's all done. Let's see what it looks like. This is the gold aluminum business card done with a diode laser. I don't know, it looks pretty good. All right, so we've got the rotary installed. Make sure that your We Create Vision is turned off before you plug this in. I guess it does uh, some kind of reboot. You can crash the software or the machine. And we'll put that in there. This guy's ready to go. And let's see if we can do the ring first, because this is something I haven't been able to do properly. Let's give that a shot and see if that works. All right, so we've got a ring on here. I wanted to try this ring. I wasn't able to do this because I couldn't get the calibration right. So the default setting is laser flat, but since I'm using the rotary tool assembly, which really isn't made for rings, let's give it a shot anyway. So you can see this area is non-working area because you don't want to engrave your rotary assembly. That would probably be bad. So let's increase that to 200% and then move this down. Now this 180 minus 180, this tells you that it can engrave all the way around and you can take it all the way out to where this area is here, depending on the diameter. A diameter is a size 10 ring. Average diameter of a size 10 ring is about just under 20 millimeters. So I type that in down here under millimeters and it's telling me that it can engrave all the way out here or all the way out here. So I'm going to want this diode thing use the same font. I'm going to put it right about here in the middle and it's going to turn the ring and don't worry about the perspective. The camera is in, in kind of a strange place so it can't directly oversee the ring so it's going to be kind of skewed and uh, that's normal. I'm going to fill and grave and the material I told it was uh, a stainless steel tumbler. I guess it's probably the closest guess I can get to what this material is and let's go ahead and start and see what happens. So it measures the diameter of the cylinder. Okay, so it's gonna go down there. It's gonna to try to pinpoint exactly where that is. And it is right on the center of the ring. So it looks like it's exactly where it's supposed to be. And difference between 26.22. Hmm, let's continue and see what happens. Victor Phil is on the pan of short Do you wanna try it? Yeah, let's try it. I wanna try this and see what happens. And let's just try it. Let's send it over there and see what happens. Let's see how it did. Uh, yeah, it's done with the diode. So it started right here and it turned it automatically. All right, cleaned it up a little bit. And you can see some depth here in the infrared side. Well, the diode appears to be a little bit more surface. It's actually a cooler color look with the diode side. The infrared definitely went in a little bit further. So I could see some really cool applications for the infrared laser module and jewelry customization. It's, it's pretty amazing that it went this straight considering I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first time ever engraving a ring. And this is a black ring too. So if you used a a stainless steel silver ring or something of a brass color would probably look even cooler because the engraving would come out dark. But that is, uh, that's pretty darn cool. That's a win.